on December the 29th, 2013, the Formula One legend, Michael Schumacher, was skiing with his family in the French Alps when he fell and he hit his head on a rock. His brain swelled and he suffered neurological damage from which he has yet to recover. He joined an unenviable list of more than 60 million people every year who suffer some form of traumatic brain injury and brain swelling with devastating consequences. Welcome to Fame Lab, everybody. <laughs> I hope you looking forward to a fun evening. We study medical biology, which means we want to understand what is going on. But it also means we want to try and do something about it. To understand brain swelling, know that the heart is constantly pumping blood up to the brain, about 25 liters an hour. So the brain needs some kind of flood defenses. And when you have a bang on the head or a stroke, those flood defenses start to fail, and water comes gushing from the bloodstream into the brain, causing the brain to swell, and that causes damage. That's because the skull is very hard, it's a very fixed volume. A swelling brain is not. The brain has 100 billion neurons. To put that in context, 100 billion is how much it's going to cost you guys in London to buy a house. <laughs> that isn't true. But it is how many stars there are in our entire galaxy. And that number is eclipsed ninefold by the number of cells of the brain that are not neurons, that regulate what comes in and what goes out. And that is very tightly controlled. If you've ever tried to get into Legs 11 in Birmingham wearing jeans and a t-shirt, I haven't. If you have, you'll know the strict control. <laughs> the flood defense cells of the brain, shaped like stars, magically called astrocytes, and they are very small. I could fit 10,000 of them in a single file across the palm of my hand, and if this Greenwood Theater was your brain, every astrocyte would still only be as big as a grain of salt, and it gets smaller still because every grain of salt astrocyte has thousands of tiny gateway proteins that let water in, called aquaporins. And in our lab, we study the shape of a single one of those gateway proteins, and we block them. So when you have that bang on the head or that stroke, water can't come from the blood of every heartbeat into the astrocytes and the, can't cause the brain to swell. And with those drugs, we're hoping to win the battle of hearts and minds. Thank you very much.